Hello, welcome to our new video. Hello. In this video, we will cover section one of the standard for project management, which is introduction. As we mentioned in our previous video, the second section is a system for value delivery. And the third and the last section is project management principles. Mr. Izgi, what is the purpose of this standard? Mr. Tekker, it's a basis for understanding project management. The outcome-oriented view is dominant. The nice thing about this standard is that it applies regardless of industry, size, or delivery approach. For example, predictive, hybrid, or adaptive. Some references use the word waterfall for the predictive approach and agile for the ad adaptive approach. It describes the system within which projects operate. The relationship between project management and product management is considered in detail too. The standard defines some key terms. Let's go over them. The word outcome is defined as follows. An end result or consequence of a process or project. Outcomes can include outputs and artifacts, but have a broader intent by focusing on the benefits and value that the project was undertaken to deliver. The word portfolio is defined as follows. Projects, programs, subsidiary portfolios, and operations managed as a group to achieve strategic objectives. The word product is defined as follows. An artifact is produced, is quantifiable, and can be either an end item in itself or a component item. The word program is defined as follows. Related projects, subsidiary programs, and program activities that are managed in a coordinated manner to obtain benefits not available from managing them individually. The word project is defined as follows. A temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service, or result. The temporary nature of projects indicates a beginning and an end to the project work or a phase of the project work. Projects can stand alone or be part of a program or portfolio. The phrase project management is defined as follows. The application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project activities to meet project requirements. Project management refers to guiding the project work to deliver the intended outcomes. Project teams can achieve the outcomes using a broad range of approaches, for example, predictive, hybrid, and adaptive. The phrase project manager is defined as follows. The person assigned by the performing organization to lead the project team that is responsible for achieving the project objectives. Project managers perform a variety of functions, such as facilitating the project teamwork to achieve the outcomes and managing the processes to deliver intended outcomes. The phrase project team is defined as follows. A set of individuals performing the work of the project to achieve its objectives. The phrase system for value delivery is defined as follows. A collection of strategic business activities aimed at building, sustaining, and or advancing an organization. Portfolios, programs, projects, products, and operations can 
all be part of an organization's system for value delivery. The word value is defined as follows. The word importance or usefulness of something. Different stakeholders perceive value in different ways. Customers can define value as the ability to use specific features or functions of a product. Organizations can focus on business value as determined with financial metrics, such as the benefits less the cost of achieving those benefits. Societal value can include the contribution to groups of people, communities, or the environment. Can you give us information about the audience for the standard? This standard provides a foundational reference for stakeholders participating in a project. This includes, but is not limited to, project practitioners, consultants, educators, students, sponsors, stakeholders, and vendors. Okay, we have reached the end of our video. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. You can support us from our Patreon page. Feel free to attend our Udemy course by clicking the link show in the description section. Hope to see you in our next video. We will be glad if you write your comments below our videos. Also feel free to ask any questions you might have. Contact us using our email addresses if you are interested in our courses. Goodbye. Bye-bye.